So today we're on Verhunga Savannah, and I wanted to kind of play around with the sort of ultimate three weapon loadout for Call of the Wild. Because ever since Scoring System 2.0 came out, you can actually hunt every animal in the game just with three weapons. And those are the 7 mil, the 243, and the 22. If you have those three weapons, you can hunt every single animal in the game. Now, we're not going to have as much power as the 300 for the bigger animals like the Gemsbuck and stuff. But we should still be able to manage. And I also have tripods with me, so we might mess with that, but... I'm going to be trying to go for a lot more heart shots and stuff like that on these bigger animals, which I think is going to be interesting, just because we're sort of forced to if we want to, I don't know, be efficient and not have to track stuff for a long way. So I think that's going to be fun, just hunting with the smallest weapon possible. I did that a while ago, and I really enjoyed it. It's actually cutie way out there. I think that's one of those pink ones, which I might actually want. That guy was a gold. Just barely. I can't remember. It must be in the 212 area for kilograms that Gimmis Buck make gold, but yeah, that's like 360 meters out, but 7 mil shouldn't have any issues reaching out to there, and I think, yeah, the uh, female in the multi mount now is a Dusky. Sweet. I like it. Now, here's the other interesting thing to this. I'm also kind of setting up for another video, and I can't even promise it's going to happen. I have to kind of see how it's going to go. But I want to attempt to bow hunt lions, and a lot of the lakes, just like the lodge placement and stuff, is not great for it. So I brought tripods with me, and I'm going to try to set up tripods in areas where I think will be useful. So I don't know like how close I want to get to where they usually drink. I'll probably put it like here. And yeah, I mean, you may never see a lion bow hunting video. It might not work. I might not be able to call them in, but... I'm going to try it, and worst case scenario, we end up with tripods placed at some of these lakes that eventually will be useful for something. Ooh. Max weight lion track. I think I hear him. I just don't see him. Now, as much as I am intending on bow hunting lions in a future video, I don't exactly intend on leaving that without knowing what it is, so... We're going to go get our Kudu, and then we'll try to figure out where he is. Now, we do only have the 7 mil, but I've never had any issues hunting lions with the 7 mil before. But yeah, our Kudu is right here, and I think I am going to mount that just because I eventually want to get another Kudu multi-mount, because our Melanistic is a rather small one. I want to get a diamond, and I think that would be good contrast, like the red-brown uh, Kudu with a big common diamond. I think that would look good. But I can hear the breathing of that lion. He's over here somewhere. Just probably the best thing we can do is run after him. It kind of opens up up here to the north, and we can see if he's actually big or not. And I've had some decent lion uh, spawn luck. We had that legendary one that was too small on my map a few weeks ago. That should be him. Yeah, he's just a big seven. So all the more reason to kill him and hopefully have a respawn by the time I do the... Uh, lion hunting video but he's nervous and he's probably just gonna walk away so <laughs> this is gonna be probably not ideal oh okay I can't call him because he's nervous I think I can probably get along if I place that right hard to say and he's not gonna start losing health for a while because that's a 7 mil that certainly should be a lung though so Either way, we should get the full score out of him. I'm curious, though, if that first shot was going to be good enough. We'll have to check when we go up there. But, hmm. It's like a decent Gemsbuck. If he wasn't running around, I'd shoot him for maybe eventual respawn, but Gemsbuck, like, that 205 to 240 is almost every male, so they're a tough one to work with. And actually, I just want to show you uh, the fact that this new nervous state makes animals do some really strange things. After we make sure there's nothing big over there. This rest zone we got when he was resting right here. The zone is all the way back there. Like, when they're in that nervous state, they will rest really, really far from their zones or drink or feed or whatever they're doing. So I just wanted to show that because I've talked about it a few times, but I've not had it in a video. And yeah, we needed that second shot. Ah. I think if I was a little closer to the spine or a little further back, either of those would have been good. But we got the double lung on the second one. And like I said, hopefully that'll be a respawn. But I think I need to change the time. 
because we are going to be going to Lion Lakes, and I don't want to do like a full lion hunt now and then another bow hunting one later, so we'll probably make it early morning and go set up tripods in some of these other lakes. I don't know if this is the same herd. It might be. But a while back, I actually shot a, like, bigger horns level 4. But I don't see any respawn, unless it's this one. Which would be a bit of a letdown. But we haven't gotten to use the 243 yet, so we might as well go ahead and get some use out of that. Honestly, that brings down the spring buck quicker than I remember with the double lung. But yeah, this has become one of my favorite lion lakes since the... Uh, blonde lion video, that's where we killed him. So, I gotta figure out where to place the tripod, but had to come here, and I actually think it's gonna be kinda interesting. Like, a lot of these lakes that we're going to, because they are uh, ultimately places I want to lion on, I tend to go there during lion drink time, a lot of times not early in the morning, so I think that could be good. I think that could lead to maybe seeing things that I've never uh, seen before at these lakes, and there could be good stuff that are there all the time, but at least that's a gold three. And we'll see about setting something up, and then we're probably going to go to this lake, too. I have a tripod there, but it's at the wrong end of the lake. See, this is the kind of thing I mean. There's a max weight warthog track. I spooked him out of here. The good thing is they run really slow, so we can probably sort of do the same thing we did with the lion, just sort of follow it till we know what it is. But for all I know, that could be a level five, because I never come up here when warthog are drinking, so I've certainly never seen it. Also, apparently, wildebeest live up here in the morning, so... Maybe we can get a look at those, too. There's our pig. He is just a four. But, again, worth checking. Worth shooting for respawn. I don't know if I can get along at that, but... Well, I shot him right through the spinal cord. Maybe it reached along. Got another little one running there, but not going to worry about the two. And, yeah, we didn't quite reach into the lungs, so... Didn't get the gold out of him, but... Pretty much just needed him dead for the respawn. And yeah, I want to try this lake, because I think it's only going to be Warthogs drinking, but there might be stuff feeding and resting around it. But I definitely want to set up stuff for here, because this is a really good lion lake. Well, we've got a gold wildebeest. It's always such a task to try to spot every single one in the herd and make sure there's not a maybe diamond, because as much as the really big fives stick out. The fours that can make diamond and the small fives really just blend right in. But the good thing is without Zag Tactics, you can usually judge by the weight. If it's 265 to 290, most of those have a shot of being diamond, but I think the only one really worth shooting there is the gold, so we'll try to get him and then probably just head down towards the lake. Yeah, it's another spinal cord shot, but they have the weird hitboxes, so... I would say it's more likely that's a lung shot. And I actually think the spinal cord shots, that's very loud, but I think they display vital blood on the ground. But we did just reach into the top of his lungs, so got the gold out of our gold wildebeest. And apparently there's kudu up there, but I do want to just stick down towards the lake for now. Got a lion eating. New feed zone. I might shoot that just to get her. I think we can get a heart shot, hopefully, and not have it take forever. Sweet. Just for maybe respawns, I honestly really want to get some rare females, too, for those multi-mounts, so should really take every opportunity we can for those. Not too bad, though. I mean, you can see just from this hunt how effective it can be just carrying the 7 mil and using that for the biggest animals. Like, other than buffalo, I would say, you're pretty fine, because buffalo are difficult to get the heart on, but Mostly everything else in the game, the larger species, you can just hit the heart and not really have much to worry about with the 7 mil. Doesn't look like any of them are very big, but got some cutie chilling out there. Ooh, actually that one maybe is. I didn't see that one behind the female. I don't know if that's a 4 or a 5. He's working his way out, so he should be able to spot him eventually. It's just not letting me. I don't want to spot the female while he's doing this game. There we go. Okay, he's a big four, but definitely something we want to get for respawns. Now, I actually don't know if it's changed. That was odd. But, um, it seems like you need the bigger horns on 
uh, level 5 Kudu to even reach Diamond now. So, I'm not sure that guy would ever have a chance, even if he was a 5. But yeah, he's definitely in that max estimate, so we want to kill all those that we can. He's definitely got, like, the big 4, small 5 horns. He just died in, like, a nice spot. I like the shimmer on his horns from the rain, so just take advantage of that for a couple screenshots. And yeah, he would have been close before, but he's still a full two and a half below the diamond requirement. So I think that's the case. You probably need either absolutely require the big horns or need like the absolute max for the smaller ones. But anyway, we're going to go to our next lake, which I think is this one. And I don't go there very often these days either in the morning. So we'll see what's there. I'm actually thinking this is a herd of wildebeest I've never seen before. None of them are looking that special, but I never come up here at this time. And like to get to the lake that we're going to, this isn't the direction I would normally go. But that gold, which I can't see the spot again, I think is as good a wildebeest as is in this herd, and he's the, the uh, fur variant. I wonder, oh, okay, actually he got up. I think he's behind that other one, though. We're going to have to move around, but we'll try to get him at least. All right, there we go. That cleared up just nicely if I use the right gun. Hopefully before any others get in the way. Don't know if that's going to be a double lung or not, but we'll definitely make sure to try to spot the rest of these while they run off, because even though I spent a while trying to make sure I saw them all, it's really easy to miss. Just like one wildebeest in a herd of... 37 or whatever they travel in. But yeah, slightly better gold than the last one. That actually was Lung Liver, which is useful, but we're almost up to this lake, which should have probably Gemsbuck and Warthog drinking. Well, that's a maybe. I actually don't think it's big enough, but we definitely should kill that. It's looking like that's about the best thing. There's probably other Warthogs I can't see because of these reeds, but yeah, I think that's too small, but we'll kill it anyway. Maybe we can get the spinal cord double lung where we don't have to track it. That'd be nice. You know, as much as I say this probably isn't one, I'm consistently wrong about whether it comes back or diamond or not, so I probably shouldn't even try to predict it, but uh, I gotta figure out where I'm putting my tripod here. I think lions drink generally right about where I'm standing, so I gotta set that up back here. But I actually was right about this one. Definitely like a small four, just 317 trophy. But I guess for respawn reasons, we want to get that. And I think we have most of the lakes I want to go to covered. We got to do this one and then probably these two. So we'll go see what's hanging out down here. This might get interesting. Actually, I think I want the scope. All right, didn't get a lung or didn't get the heart, but we got a lung, I meant. Hopefully she goes down fairly quick. I kind of want to get another shot in her because seven mil single lung, she's going to run for a long time. Actually, not that bad. I wonder if we got... We'll have to look. There's that weird area on lions that you can get a frontal double lung shot. There's a male. Little guy, but we can get him. Actually, a beige. Decent game spuck, but I'd rather the lion at the moment. Ah, missed the heart on that, but... Certainly going to be a lung, maybe both. Alright, he didn't even leave a single track. So, I'm glad he just died here, because I wasn't really sure what else to do. There's some tracks over there. Maybe he went around. But yeah, just under his heart. That was double lung. I think I was 0 for 150, so I must have just aimed low. And I don't think I claimed the female lion. I'm going to have to, I guess, head over... Uh, what the all right well oh wow there's a lot of chems buck here that's a big four he's got the high estimate i don't see anything better so i guess we'll try to get him probably got to wait for him to turn because he's walking straight away but at least we didn't completely spook them because that's considerably less fun now than it used to be Get out of my way. I wonder if a neck shot actually is going to be the best way to go. Because they just have, like, 
the way their bodies are, it's difficult to get a heart shot when they're facing you. It's a little easier when they're quartering. Because they just have like a huge nose. But that was effective. So I gotta set up a tripod. Lions almost always drink in the same place here. It's like right about where those warthogs are running through. Somewhere in that area. So I'd say if we keep our tripod to the left, we ought to be able to call them in. Again, if it's even going to work. I keep talking about it. I hope we can actually do that video. I guess I'll figure out some way to do it, but hopefully we can use these tripods and stuff, because I think that could be really fun. But yeah, I think that's actually the last tripod I want to set up. We'll take a look at our Gems Buck here, which... Honestly, had we used the 300, I bet we could have reached the heart too, which would have been kind of cool. But he's decent. A lot of work done for respawns today. I actually want to hop up here real quick. Um... This is a lion lake, but I'm not sure about it. I just, like, saw it as I was going by and remembered it. I'm not sure, like, setting up tripods there is going to work too good. But anyway, I just want to see what's here, uh, since it's one of the lakes that I really only hunt a little later in the day for Cape Buffalo. So early morning is not a time that I'm usually at this spot. Actually, that's a max weight estimate one, so more respawn stuff if I use the right gun anyway. Just get him quick. I think we even got the heart shot. Yeah, we did. Not bad either. He's in the 130s, so he's definitely a good one. And we're going to go down to the other end of the lake, because I know like a lot of Warthog and Gemsbuck do drink here. There's another like max estimate four. And a smaller four. Like, the good thing is, we shot a lot of stuff today that maybe has respawn potential. So whether it's in the lion video or a future video, hopefully there's going to be some good stuff running around our Verhunga map, but I didn't see much for Gemsbuck over here. There was a base level 3, I think was about the most interesting thing, so we might just head around and get our Warthog. He's another pretty good one too, he's almost to 130 kilos. So a couple of good Warthogs here hopefully for respawns, but yeah, I don't see much reason to go back to the Trophy Lodge. We did get that red-brown... Uh, female kudu that's going to be for a multi-mount eventually, but I don't actually have anything for it at the moment, so we'll just kind of save that, but yeah, hopefully we can do that lion bow hunting video. Like I said, if not, we're going to have tripods set up and eventually they're going to be useful. And, of course, we still had good progress with the respawn stuff, because we shot a lot of, like, max weight estimate and score estimate animals today, so I'm really encouraged by that. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.